today HTTP streaming has become the norm for video streaming. And it's important to keep in mind that this has actually led to uh, two major uh, changes in the way that we actually handle streaming. So the first major change is we're looking, we're taking into account um, multiple different kinds of network connections, uh, different network conditions, and also the various number of devices that we're actually using to stream content today. So what we've done is we're encoding a single video into several different rates that the player can then choose from. Secondly, we've gotten away in recent years from that kind of custom transport-based protocol to a more traditional HTTP TCP stack. And so what that's done is allowed us to reach more people and scale via CDNs, but it's also kind of created um, a layering effect that's caused uh, a degree of removal between the player and the underlying network conditions. And so that has given rise to the need for us to actually estimate the available bandwidth and make that decision logic on the player side. So in terms of design goals, what we're looking at is to really optimize the viewer experience, obviously. So we've selected three main design goals that we see kind of throughout the different players as the, the principal design goals that we need. The first is maximizing efficiency. So we obviously want to stream at the highest bit rate possible given your network conditions. The second goal is going to be to minimize rebuffering. So what we want to do is make sure that we are effectively prefetching and storing segments before rendering them on the screen in order to not have any buffer underrun or playback stalls. The third criteria would be to encourage stability. So limit the number of switches, which can be perceived as quite annoying uh, to the viewer. So only switch bit rates when it's actually necessary because of changes in network conditions. We can actually add a fourth criteria that is quite prevalent in a lot of the research that's been done on ABR algorithms, and that's to promote fairness. It's the idea of fairness um, to a fair allocation of network resources, and especially concerning devices that are sharing a bottleneck.